NFL 22 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Bills and the Chiefs, and it's coming up next. From one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here in KC as their beloved Chiefs took the field, and they are set to match up with the Buffalo Bills. Alongside Charles Davis, Sean Brandon Gordon, and CD. You think about our quarterback matchup here. We've got a couple of guys who are definitely dangerous when you get down near the red zone. Josh Allen to the Bills, Patrick Mahomes of the Chiefs. And you used the perfect word there, Brandon, dangerous. Yeah, they're dangerous just about anywhere on the field, but the red zone, that's where they absolutely excel. And I think it's because they can keep defenses off balance. You know they can run, you know they can pass. The RPOs come into play, but the biggest thing is when the pocket breaks down, they can create something out of nothing and sting a defense. the kicker Harrison Butker ready to get this one started and we are underway from Arrowhead taken at the goal line and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback out comes the offense for the Bills led by their quarterback at six foot five that's Josh Allen and in this league there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while there are others who have big arms there aren't too many guys who can do both and at the end of many games this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Here's Allen to throw it. And the Chiefs are gonna get him. Frank Clark. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Didn't have the greatest field position to start, did they? And now after this sack, it's way, way worse. And right off the bat, first play of the game. A hole to dig out of here, second and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Allen, he's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second down. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. To the air, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. Sheds off the tackle. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Holding offense. 
John Feliciano, the guard, the guilty party there. On the counter, this is Singletary. Two yards on the pickup, it'll be second down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Throwing on second and 14. Allen over the middle, and it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Allen. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And this one is incomplete. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. On fourth down, Matt Hawk is on to punt. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and ten. The KC offense set to go, led as always, by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards Alaire. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy's set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. him to the 37 here for first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion. Here's second and ten. Watch a slap, watch a slap, watch a slap. To throw, it's Mahomes. That's caught, it's Demarcus Robinson. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And that's going to be a Chiefs first down as he's got this up to the 45 yard line. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it's going to be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they're in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front and linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. 
Mahomes now to throw. He'll let this go for the end zone. And this one almost intercepted. Had a chance to come down with it in the end zone, but could not hang on. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 29-yard line. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. Oh, he shifts past him. We're scoreless after one. Second quarter from Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Now Edward Jalair. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and ten, as you said, in the red zone. Oh, yeah. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and ten. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Hill. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Three yards the gain there, second down. Shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10 yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Not the kind of gain that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of gain that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. They've now produced three-yard gains on three straight plays. Leads us to fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll go. It's Edwards Alaire. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. There wasn't even thought of a short field goal. There was no hesitation. They were going for it. I think he was thinking ahead a couple plays ago. That if he got in this situation, they were definitely going for it. And you're right. It was a confident call and a decisive run to pick it up. Here we go now on first and goal. Oh, yeah, 
Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Tyreek Hill from three yards out. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. So the touchdown there, and that play, the tap pass, so simple, Charles, on the face of it, but what makes it so difficult for defenses to stop? I think it's the precision and the quickness in which the play occurs because the snap gets to the quarterback. He's essentially playing volleyball with it, just immediately just shoveling it forward. And when that receiver is at a full head of steam, if you don't take the edge away, he's got a chance to get to the corner and get upfield. But if you take the edge away, that's your chance to disrupt that play. And no disruption there, that's for sure, as it winds up six points. Touchdown, here's Bucker on to kick it away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. When halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Flush to his right. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. A big game there for the Bills. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield, those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's McKenzie. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing now is Allen. Sanders got it. Touchdown, Buffalo. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. 
And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short. Yeah, I believe they buzzed down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How's the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review the play, ruling on the field. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point attempt to come here. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. The drive summary that time, five plays, and it culminates in a Bills touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Mahomes now on first down. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. Mahomes finding his tight end, Kelsey, for a big one. 44 yards. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Mahomes going to throw. Steps away to his left. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and six. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Robinson's got it. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. You have to ask the question, where was the help? Because it's a little surprising to me that he'd find that much room to run this close to the end zone. He doesn't quite get there, but he sets his guys up with a first and goal. down now but that clock rolling now Mahomes and that's caught it's Kelsey touchdown Kansas City 
Travis Kelsey as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it held scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. for the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. come to the line to start their next drive and they'll take over with just 16 ticks remaining before intermission they run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four so we've come upon halftime here in arrowhead with the chiefs on top as we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game, as evidenced by the numbers there. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. start of the third quarter the Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football taken in at the three and they're going to bring him down just past the 15 and a flag down as well well that holding call set him up with not great field position not at all when you tack on the penalty with that field position after the return wasn't terrific it's not a great starting field position as well a very costly holding penalty it backs him up all the way inside their 10 to start this drive Mahomes now on first down 
caught. Kelsey, left side. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 14. Seven yards to pick up there. I like the thought process. I like the design. But I think he may have waited a little too long to spot his man because if you're going to run that drag route, You've got to put it on him and let him turn up field. Instead, he waits until his receiver's too close to the sideline, and they don't get the yards after the catch. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. It got his man complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. One thing that we know for sure, do not question the arm strength of Patrick Mahomes, one of the strongest around. And I'm telling you, nothing will light up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receiver streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. And the final readout on next-gen stats, remarkable. That ball traveling close to 80 yards in the air. Extra point by Butker is on target. And it's now 21-7. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen flushed out right. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Allen. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So he turned to a trusted, familiar face in that third down situation. It paid off. Yeah, you go to your veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Allen. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Good sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? They'll come up now on second and a yard. Yeah. 
Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. They'll run here with Singletary. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it. You could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A give, Singletary, right side. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. This is a draw play. Allen gives to Singletary. And he is going to lose yardage here. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. I see a shake of the head as he gets up. And you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Here's Matt Hawk now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Hardman to return. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And now here comes Kansas City. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, is it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Throwing again on second down. Mahomes. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Chiefs on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. 53 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. <laughs> Mahomes taps this forward. It's a jet sweep. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. What an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. Well, they're always hoping on that 
type of a play that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He'll drop that off to Edwards Alaire. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Orlando Brown, the former Raven, the guilty party. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. They get 14 yards, but not enough for the first down due to the previous penalty. From the 36, Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. First and 10, it's Edwards Alaire with it. The tackle is made by Micah Hyde. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 17. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. It's Kelsey on the ground. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. They'll try to run it in, going option right. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. of scrimmage the seven now on second and goal Edwards Alaire on the counter and he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six and now with 152 to go we get another pause in the action a timeout here defensively Tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. They will try to run with Edwards Alaire. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next.
So on fourth down, the home's off. Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs' field goal. This to make it a three-score game late. Butker's kick here is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Allen now on first down. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And some room to maneuver. And this will set them up nicely deep down in KC territory. On a man down, and it's Sanders. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. That is caught inside the five. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up a first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. Isaiah McKenzie there to make the grab. And the Bills have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Tyler Bass now for the point after. It's up and good, so they claw back into it. 24-14 now. So that drive, four plays. And it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. 
Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about right a finish to this one. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offense is spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn.